It also gives me great pleasure to welcome a number of our distinguished guests, some of whom I mentioned earlier. Today we are here in addition to celebrate the pluralistic aspect of Islam, we are here to give profile to the Chinese community living in Toronto. It is indeed a major blessing for us to have a this institution, an institution whose objective and goal is to create a framework within which within which Muslims can function in a proper Islamic way. It is fitting for an institution like this to have this inaugural event here. I can tell you that brothers and sisters in the CCMA are extremely nervous. I don't think what Musa has left for the last month or so. I actually keep getting emails from him and the frequency of those emails were increasing as the event came closer. So about a month ago, I received one email from him every week. As the event became closer, I received one email a day. And in the last 48 hours, I feel as if I've been receiving one email every hour. He sent me the revised schedule 10 times. So I'm not so sure what we'll end up with, but inshallah we'll end up with a program that is hopefully uh, enriching and engaging. There is one thing I'd like to mention, this is an extremely full hall, so I'm going to ask for all of us cooperation to make this event come to a presentation conducted by the Chinese Muslim Association of Canada in cooperation with the Islamic Institute of Toronto. First, I want to bring you greetings from the previous Dr. McKinsey and the government of Ontario. Many people in Ontario are aware of the important role played by the Muslim community in the cultural, social, and economic role of this province. In Ontario, today, there are over 1,000 people who have identified themselves as Chinese Muslims living in Toronto area. In Ontario, we are living to lead one of the most diverse societies on earth. We are a conflict of many ethnic, history, language, cultures, and beliefs. It is this diversity of which the Muslim community is an important part that makes Ontario such a lovely place to live, to work, and to wake up every day. Ways of one way of influence have given us our character and our wealth. And our interests have been given us for quality, innovation, and a tangible global sense. We have a capacity to understand every market, all the time in every country, and communicate for any customer. The simple truth is that immigrants are a very strict economic advantage and a key to our future. My ministry also supports newcomers in becoming good citizens through the promotion of more spiritual in our community. This year, more than 5 million of volunteers. The Ministry of Citizens and Integration provides many, many books and services to support volunteers and volunteerism in Ontario. We also evolve in celebrating the contributions of outstanding seniors, young people, and citizens of all ages, whose contributions help to build a caring community across the world. We are dedicated to building a park where newcomers are welcome, diversity is celebrated, and more of the is valued, and people are engaging in working together to improve the quality of life for everyone. Uh, one of the greatest travelers who ever lived, Islamic, uh, Muslim, or otherwise, uh, even Batuta. He traveled three times further than Marco Polo. He ended up in China where he served as an ambassador and he returned to uh, Morocco 30 years after leaving home. Uh, what we do in the film, for those of you who haven't seen it, is we recreate the first journey he took from Tangier to Mecca, uh, which was full of adventure and full of danger and full of risk and really indeed very different from what is commonly called now the Jet Age Hajj. Uh, and what we do is at the end of the film, we show Ibn Battuta performing the Hajj, 
for which we had to recreate the Kaaba and the Holy Mosque in the desert of Morocco. And we rebuilt it, the 14th century version, to show him performing the Hajj. And we transitioned to the uh, 21st century and show the pilgrims performing the Hajj today. Uh, and we were able to do this thanks to uh, receiving permission from the King of Saudi Arabia, who, as you know, has, has one of his titles, Keeper of the Two Holy Mosques in Medina and Mecca. So we were fortunate to get his permission, but of course, myself as a non-Muslim, but the producer of the film, I was unable to go into Mecca. What we did is we trained uh, a crew of 85 wonderful and very talented Muslims from over 20 countries to actually go in and do the filming inside of Mecca. And what's wonderful and reflected in what the minister said a moment ago and what everybody has said so far is that this project came about as a result of people uh, First of all, these non-Muslims and Muslims coming together to make this film, and within Islam, Muslims from many different countries, as I say, over 20 different countries, who came together to do this. It was a very wonderful and gratifying experience. I'm really here for two purposes tonight. The first is to say thank you, and thank you on a couple of bases. First of all, thank you as a non-Muslim, thank you to Islam, because I learned through the making of this film the beautiful messages that are at the heart of Islam, and that to me seem to be reflected in the rites of the Hajj. So in making a film that shows the rights of the Hajj, we really have to try and understand what they were. And they're extremely beautiful and meaningful for any human being on planet Earth, Muslim or otherwise. And that was an eye-opener and a beautiful thing for me. So thank you from a non-Muslim to Islam. And the second thing uh, that I want to say thanks for is to, is to the Muslim community of Toronto. I'm very proud to be a producer in Toronto. We made this film from our base here. We distribute the film worldwide, but it was very meaningful to be able to open the film at the Ontario Science Centre, and we reached out to the Muslim community because we felt it would, of course, be of interest, and the response has been overwhelming and very powerful. You don't normally, as a filmmaker, get people come out of screenings and hold on to your arm and say, thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, we need this. And that's the kind of response we've been getting. So, in, in the process of releasing this film in Toronto, I have personally gone to know members of the Muslim community and, and have made many new friends, and I'm very grateful for that, so thank you very much. And this, the other reason I'm here is to say, if you haven't seen the film, please go see it. It is playing at the Ontario Science Centre officially until May 10th. However, it will extend beyond that uh, if there is sufficient audience. And I will say that right now there are uh, there there's a huge, great response. Over 30,000 people have seen the film since it opened on February 7th. But that is just scratching the surface of just even the Muslim community in Toronto. So I urge you, please, if you haven't seen the film, please go see it, tell your friends to see it. Uh, what I am told by all of the Muslim audiences who see it is that it's a meaningful experience and one that they find very rewarding. So thank you for the opportunity to tell you about it and have a great evening. I would like to extend warm greetings and congratulations to the Chinese Muslim Association of Canada and the Prime President here tonight. Chinese Muslim history has more than 1,000 years and endured its ups and downs. Chinese Muslim brothers and sisters have more freedom of their beliefs and become the more adolescent and Sam Trump, Chinese Canadian Muslim, observed the law of Canada law and worked shoulder by shoulder with the other Canadian people. In building Canada into the harmonious and 
led the way in all lands from Europe to Arabia, Persia, India, across the Himalaya mountains to the China. The end point is the Chang'an site of the Chang'an city, Chang city of the Chang'an dynasty. And the sea route is from Mediterranean Sea, Red Sea, Indian Ocean, Sri Lanka, South Malaya, to South China Sea, and then to China. It's left in China to take back to the day of the caliphate of Osman Abdel 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 the third caliph of Islam. After trying to bring over the Byzantine Romans and Persians, the caliph sent a delegation to China in 29 AH, that's 650. The ancient official record of the Tang dynasty described the landmark visit to China by Said Abdi Wangan. One of the companions and the internal sample of the Prophet Muhammad is the Apostle. This event is considered to be the birth of Islam in China. The Prophet Muhammad invited the Chinese Emperor to embrace Islam. Although the Emperor finds Islam to be a bit too restrictive for him, he respects his teachings. To show his admiration of, for Islam, the Emperor King Saeed completely freedom to propagate Islam in China. This is a magnificent Guang Amor in Guangzhou City. Known to since this day as Memorial Reform, it was built in Han Chinese in more than 1,000 years. It's a challenge for me to put the 1,300 year history in just 5 minutes, but I hope I can give brothers and sisters a general image of Islam in China. Now I would like to introduce some famous Chinese Muslims. When the Mongol, when the Mongol Turkey Khan invaded the West Asia in the 13th century, the son of the king of Bukhara was taken as a hostage. His name was the Omar Samuel Genghis Khan recruited a young slave in Beijing and in talking Chinese and Arabic. The young prince was extremely clever and assimilated the Mongolian and Chinese culture and philosophy. He was later known as Sayyid Jansi. Sayyid was an artist and table and was appointed to be assistant minister of Yunnan province in southern China. At that time, it was an undeveloped and poor area. Sayyid was an excellent officer. He taught people how to come, help them to build irrigated farms. He established mosques and schools. He respected other religions, promoted harmonized relations between different races, and settlement and diffused justice. The people accepted his consideration and willing to offer the people. Uh, when you the people. Therefore, the Arabic language.
religious and uh, you know national um,